Under the Banner of Heaven, which premieres this Thursday on Hulu. Congratulations on the series. It's getting wow. rightly the most incredible reviews. Thank you. For anyone who doesn't know, tell us what it's about and who you play. Uh, so in, 19, in the 1980s, there was a series of murders um, in the Mormon faith uh, by these two guys. Uh, I won't give too much away. Uh, but it follows uh, Andrew Garfield, mm. uh, who's a detective who's on the case of these these uh, Mormon killers, and it, and it explores uh, you know fanaticism, extremism, and faith, and how you kind of can get the rabbit hole and go down that rabbit hole to get there. So it's an interesting one. It's brilliantly made, expertly performed. You shot the series while you were in Canada, yeah. and you were away for quite some time. And while you were away, your wife made a decision about your family life. Your wife, is this right? She bought. A house, yes, without you seeing it or even really telling you, is that right? <laughs> yes, how's well, that going? Well, it's going very well because I've made that one of the secrets to marriage I've found is just to let your wife do whatever they want, with right? The house. Yes, and you are in the absolute clear. So, uh, that it was she saw this house, it was wonderful. We wanted to move closer to family, we were able to do that. Very lucky and fortunate to be able to do that. And so, I just said, Yeah. Go for it. Like, this is it. I, 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 and, and when we went into escrow, I was the first time I ever went into the house. A set wow. House. So I, but I fully, it's how I bought my last house as well. In Atlanta, I did the same thing. So it's the only way I buy houses, and it keeps <laughs> my wife and I are very happy, and we're together you for just, three years. You just buy houses like this? Yeah. No, 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 I buy houses like that, but my wife is here. Now, Henry, you have, you have six grandchildren. I do. So when your grandchildren come over, what's a typical afternoon like in the Winkler residence? Okay, so my granddaughters that are older, one is 12 and one is uh, 9, uh, going to be 10, I believe, and uh, we do TikToks once a year. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. And uh, my granddaughter, India, uh, choreographs them, and then uh, Lulu, India, and I dance in them, and this year, Ace joined us. Right. Yes. Wow. And what sort of moves are we pulling out here, Henry? What? Do you want to see? I mean, if you've got one. <laughs> Exceptional. Thank you. Exceptional. <laughs> Why, as, as a kid, uh, is, is this true that sometimes <laughs> Uh, fans of your of your mother and father would they would call uh -huh. your house. Yes, that would happen. Very How would you deal with those situations? Well, <clears throat> you get fans every once in a while. They get your phone number, and and there was three lines. So my line was sort of the third line. And every once in a while, you get a fan who was trying to get a prank call in, and they'd get right. through somehow. And you go, okay, I'm gonna hang up. So one day, I'm in Vancouver, and I get get a phone call, pick it up. Hi, how's it going? Who is this? And it's this, forgive my horrible English accent. It's, uh, hi, is Goldie there? And I was like, yeah, uh, yeah, who, who is this? It's Paul. Yeah, you know what, Paul, why don't you try back another time? Click, boom. <laughs> Go back, and about five seconds later, I was like, Paul, English. Like, is that a hang up on Paul McCartney? <laughs> like, it's possible, but I don't know because I can't call him back. I don't have, like, a, not a cell phone. It's no, there's no Star 69 to London. Like, and yeah. I don't want to call my mom and say, I might have hung up on Paul McCartney because then she calls back and he's like, I didn't call you. Then that's a weird situation for my mom. Of course, yeah. So I don't want to do that. So I was like, I don't let it be. About three days later, let I get... Let it be. Let it be. Oh. <laughs> Uh, about three days later, I go to my machine, there's a message on it, and I, 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 I click play, and it's like, hi, Wyatt, it's Paul. Paul McCartney. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, I hung up on Paul McCartney. Wow, so. kind of a cool move, I'm very though. sorry, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a great move. Yeah, that's, I love that. Yeah, yeah. Now, Henry, this is exciting. I, would you send him my regards? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Paul McCartney? Yeah. yeah. You, you spent time with Paul McCartney? I met him on Madison Avenue for about three minutes. Right. Yeah. He said, oh, the funds. <laughs> I went Paul. And then a woman came out, gave us both a rose um, from one of the stores. Another woman came up and said, can I just stand here? He said, we're in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> and no. And that was it. And he walked and I walked and that was it. Wow. Mm. It's kind of amazing when you're walking around with them, isn't it? People are... It's a different type of fame. But you're right. People just want to level. sort of be in the aura of it. I did. I did. Yeah, it's yeah. incredible. Yeah. I mean... That was it. And that was, I can't, 30, 35 years ago. Yeah. And I'm still hanging on to that memory. <laughs>
And you hung up on him. I hung up on him. <laughs> <laughs> now, Henry, I want to talk to you about this. This is exciting. You've just finished, I can't believe I'm saying this, your 38th book. Yes. 38 books. <laughs> Tell us, yeah. when can we get this book? What's it going to be about? Okay, so uh, Lynn Oliver and I write together. We're, mm. a, we're a team. And uh, we just finished uh, Alien Superstar, uh, the third in a trilogy. And then our next book, which comes out next year, uh, and probably I don't know if I should mention this, but it's about a little duckling who lives on a pond in New Hampshire who dreams about being a detective. Oh. oh, wow. I yeah. love, I love that. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love this. And her friend, the salamander, said, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> and that salamander is absolutely right. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs>